How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Burning Birds all the way from France. And you can say his name and what he does in the band. Hi. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. What do you do in the band, Julie? <laughs> About the band's name? No, no, no. What do you do? What do you play? Do you play? Um, do you yeah, play? yeah. I'm the singer and I'm the guitarist. Okay, cool. I... <laughs> That's all right. Uh, it's all right. Listen, guys, don't be too... Don't be too hard on Julian. He is he is French, and I can't speak French, so maybe I'll have to learn. Maybe Julian can teach me some French while he's on here. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I can speak very uh, very quickly in, uh, in, in French. <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to learn some French, some French words. But uh, the first question I have for you, Julian, is um, I want to know how Burning Birds started out. Like, how did you meet your other members of the band? Like, have you guys been a part of music? Ha have you been in bands, you know, for a majority of your life? Or how did that kind of start? Yeah, um, Burning Birds was my first real band. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But there was um, a, a, dif uh, a different crew uh, four or five years ago. Uh, with a keyboard, uh, a bass player, a drummer, uh, and me. But um, the the guys were not in the same way. I do the the music. The, the <laughs> you know they um, started um, uh, a jazz group after uh, we wow. break. Yeah, yeah. But it's not the good guys. So uh, I keep the name. And uh, I wanted to keep the, the band alive, uh, but I was alone, so it was uh, difficult for me. But um, I found uh, I, I've, I've met a guy from Canada, and I said, I, I need a drummer, a good drummer. He said, yes, I know a drummer, a good drummer, but it's too good to be in one band. I said, okay, uh, give, me, <laughs> give me a number, you know? <laughs> so I called the guy. And we met with a, a, a new bass player that just uh, I've, um, met just before. And uh, the, the, the first time we played together was in, um, in Bunker, you know, Ooh. whole Bunker from the yeah. World War II. Yeah, yeah. Uh, using, and now it's used to, uh, to, to have some rehearsals. And uh, it's, it was the first time, and, and it was a real war, you know, <laughs> the whole war. Yeah. <laughs> Electric and walk. Um, and after the, 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 the first try, we, we were all agreed to, to say, okay, it's the, it's the, it's the good band to, <laughs> to, to make rock. There we go. I, I like that. You know, I, it's always, for me, I'm always curious on how bands form. So this, to yeah. me, I, I love that. Um, to have a drummer from Canada is, is pretty crazy. So I'm glad you guys worked it out. Yeah. No, the drummer is not from Canada. Oh, okay. It's, it's a Canadian musician that helped me uh, s several times uh, when I started to uh, write songs. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me uh, when I started this band. He, ha he helped me to find the drummer. Uh, it's like an angel, you know. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. You give, give me a good advice, or uh, he or helped you find someone. Yeah. Band member. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Well, good. That's a good friend. But either way, I think it makes your the story of the band more interesting. Uh, I love when you know. I think that I think that shows the type of people that are in the music scene that are willing to help other people out. So I love that. So much kudos to your friend for helping you find a drummer. Drummers are hard to find, so uh, he, yeah, he yeah. must be a very good friend then. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, man, I love that. And speaking about good friends, I forgot to mention it at the beginning of this video, but massive shout-outs to Val. You already know I love her, so much, much love to Val again. She's uh, she's the best, so I have a soft spot in my heart for her. Um, <laughs> but uh, the next question I have for you, Julian, is... Um, what are some of the influences of Burning Birds? Like, who were some of the people when you wanted to start making music? Who were the people that got you excited to, you know, play guitar and do singing? Do you have any artists that initially when you started out, you're like, I need to do this? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's Kurt Cobain. Oh, yeah. 
yeah it's my first influence the real influence yeah and um but uh i young i want uh, i wanted to, to start guitar playing but uh, uh not not singing you know? oh okay yeah yeah i start the the sing because um i have to <laughs> I want to. <laughs> because um uh, to, to be honest i i, I was a, a bad guitarist at the beginning and uh i think no one's want me to in, in in a band in strasbourg so uh but but i, I wanted to to go on stage so uh, I decided to uh, create my own songs to go on stage. So I have to sing, <laughs> and now, <laughs> and now I enjoy to sing. I think you sound great. So I don't. I I would have never thought that you would have not wanted to sing. So got a great got a great voice. So go check Thank out you. go check out uh, Julian's project Burning Birds. I'll leave links down in the description. But. Um, I yeah, I th if you told me you were bad at both guitar and vocals, I would be surprised. So this, you know, <laughs> you have stepped the game up. You are doing great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understood that I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> work hard. Well, Good the work guy. hard work's paying <laughs> off. Because <laughs> Americans work very hard, I think, in music. I, uh, no, uh, different, different. Uh, different ways that uh yeah you english and american people uh in music are rock rock hard work hard <laughs> and, uh, and uh, we have to uh, to follow in uh, this way i think well you're doing great so i wanted to give you the kudos for that you know it's it's tough <laughs> it's 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 hard to it's hard to be in a band so you know i i got to give you a lot of a lot of praise cuz it, it it's difficult so hopefully Hopefully people check your your music out. Um, so I'm very excited. But Julian, I have to ask for people who aren't familiar with Burning Birds, is there any song off your new album, Where We Belong, do, do you recommend a person to listen to first off the album? It's uh, huh, a difficult question, you know. Uh, I would say that... It, uh, the first song is the introduction. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. To, to the album, but uh, um, some people don't maybe don't won't listen the the album to the to the end, and so uh, uh, I say uh, begin with uh, "I Walk with the Devil." Okay. Okay. Last song of the album. That's the one I listened to, and I really enjoyed it. So now I have to go back. I had I had a couple songs playing on my phone that I was listening to, and that was the last one I listened to before I before I hopped on with Julian now, and I really liked it. It's got this again this sort of great like rock nostalgia to me. It just it, it's like a tried and true rock album, and I love that. So definitely excited to delve more into it. Um, and guys, you can check out where we belong. Also in the links below, please go pick it up for, for my man, Julian, go support him. Um, I know this was a very hard question for him because all of these songs are like his children, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. But I'm, uh, I'm happy. Uh, they go, uh, they, they go and, um, and became, uh, adults and uh and go free because I, I can i can make some new babies now <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really want, I, I'm, I'm writing the new album now so uh yes i'm, I'm happy to, to 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 go on something else there you go and when did when did you start writing for when where we belong um it's complicated because um, we've started to write the first songs, uh, yeah, two or three years ago, I think, but not in the same um, uh, the song. Uh, are in the same uh, until we decided to uh, to to record the album. Oh, okay. and some songs uh, have been finished just uh, one or two months be before we record the album. Oh wow! Okay, so you were very much to the the end of the line. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, which one yeah. was like the which one was the last song that you wrote? Uh, 
I uh, I I hesitate between uh, I walk with the devil and brother. Oh wow! Okay, so they were one of the last. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. But uh, you, you, for the people who will um, listen, I walk with the devil. There is a saxophone in the end. Yes. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's- it's a it's a it's a total improvisation from a, from a woman with we not ever met before. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. She was a jazz player. Uh, she was a rehearsal uh, before a, a gig at um, Morocco, I think, something like that. Nice. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And I uh, heard the saxophone uh, the morning uh, with the, the 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 recording engineer, and uh, and said, man. We, we have to do something with that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, ask if if she's okay to 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 to, to record something, and, and and she said, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> go, go, go. Do do you want to hear the tracks before? No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Just uh, just put me and when you want that play. She uh, record two times. We mixed the two ta- the, the two uh, tracks, uh, and, uh, and and it was the end. Uh, it is the end of uh, I walk with the devil. Wow, that's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Shout outs to her. She sounds great. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. She was just yeah. like, yeah, I don't, I don't need to listen to a song. And then she's like, just, just goes at it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's with amazing. all the, the fine, smooth uh, sound that uh, she, she makes uh, with, this, with uh, her saxophone, it's, uh, it's incredible. Really that, like it. Wow. That's, that's, that's amazing. Well, I'm glad that she it worked out on the the song. I think it really is just like, I was gonna ask about that, so I'm glad I I got the answer from you, Julian, because I was like, I was like, this okay. is sick. What is? I was like, where did the saxophone part come in? That's so crazy. <laughs> and now I know, so that's it makes the song even that much better. I think. So. Yeah, and it's very funny because um, when we uh, record that, uh, I said that to my friends. Yes, uh, they there is a saxophone at the end of the record, and uh, everybody said. Oh, saxophone, yeah, jazz style or what? Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're like, no, it's not the no, album's no. not jazz. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, Houston. Hopefully, they'll be delightfully surprised, and you know, because mm-hmm. I heard that part, and I was like, did did I did this song change? And I was like, it's the same song. That's kind yeah, of strange. yeah, it's the same song, and- but it works out though. It's just fluid. We love it. But I think uh, we we tried this uh, three times something on the album to to change the the, the song in in the middle or at the end, uh, and we really like it to 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 take the people who listen to the song and uh, go outside the song and uh, and come back, you know. Oh yeah, you got it. I feel like it's a especially what I walk with the devil. That one was one where I was like listening to it and I was like. In really enjoying it, I'm the type of person that sits down and just goes through the entire album. So I, I will definitely be doing that for uh, where we belong. But I, I'm the type of person that just enjo- enjoys listening. I, I feel like I have to listen from front to back. And then there's some people that are just like, give me one song to listen to, and I need to listen to that song. So I'm hoping that that fingers crossed. If they like, I walk with the devil. I hope they go and listen to some more of your stuff because it's. Uh, I think that was the perfect song for me to start off with to get a better idea of your sound. And uh, I hope that it intrigues people enough to go listen to the full album. So go do it. Go do it, guys. Go support Julian, my man. Um, But the next question I have for you, Julian, what are you listening to more currently? What are you listening to on Spotify or on your day-to-day basis? Um... I have some American bands, uh, uh, Tunstyle. Uh, oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm, Play Venda. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. yeah. I really like this band. Really, really, really like this band. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age for sure. Oh yeah. Um, Hermanos Guitares. Uh, oh not the, wow! Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I really like this song. Wow. And and it's uh, strange, but it's inspired me uh, a lot for what I do uh, with a rock band, you know. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's great. 
I love you yeah. mentioned Turnstile. That's one of the bands I've been listening to a lot more recently. <laughs> so great, great band. Very, very, very good band, yeah. But I feel like you're, I'm hoping that your stuff maybe in the future has like more like punk, kind of yeah. a little bit more punk, a little bit more like hardcore influence. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. And um, for um, English bands, uh, Shame, Fontaine's DC, uh, Ooh, Drench. Okay. Uh, do, do you know Fran uh, Drench? I don't know Drench. No. no Drench is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, um, a two guys band. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and uh, Shame, Viaga Boys, uh, for American, American Boys, but I think, yes. <laughs> that's it uh fun captain the red snake something uh, false heads or an englishman yeah that's a lot of uh, uh rock uh stuff yeah oh nice okay there we go that's i feel like you kind of hit the the entire map you have some stuff that's a little bit more like punk you have stuff that's a little bit more rock and then you have stuff that's a little bit yeah. more out there. So I, I like that because I think it it shows up in Burning Birds, like where you can kind of mm -hmm. see that. I imagine more so in the newer stuff, you, you're you going to be branching out and doing, m making new sounds and stuff, I'm sure. Yeah. And uh, I really like this, uh, also um, hip hop style, you know, or, or uh, a mix between rock, rock and hip hop, uh, Cleo Patrick. Okay. Um, uh, do this, you know. It's a Canadian band. Uh, very, very interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, sounds sounds interesting. And I, I want to mix some. Yeah, I, I really like to mix influences. Yeah. Um, you will hear in uh, it flows in my veins the the the, the second songs of the album. Uh, there is a um, disco influence. What? Oh my god. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the drum, in the drum, you can hear <laughs> full disco and films. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to have to listen to that one. But, out, it's the way this. we work. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I write a song. It's that's for, for me, it's a story that I want to tell. And um, I came with this kind of skeleton that we have to 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 put uh, some some muscles some some uh, some flesh some 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 some, uh, some some clothes and um and i, I always ask the boys uh, okay what's your um, principal influence uh, at this time on what do you want to work and it, it could be disco it could be a fusion it could be uh, whatever we want oh yeah but I we think... don't want to make Go ahead, Joey. Classical ahead. rock. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. You don't want to make classical rock like our fathers, you know? <laughs> we want to change the way to see that and um, to play that and uh, to, to, to write that. Oh, no. I feel like uh, with the Burning Birds, uh, I, I've appreciated kind of the, the different approaches that you guys take in making the music. It doesn't, like, it has that kind of rock like nostalgia to me but i also feel like there's there's a lot of new stuff that's incorporated in it so i do like that you aren't taking old stuff and just making old stuff newer i like that you're taking old stuff but then also incorporating like new elements into it to make it more interesting more fun more like has more variety in it so I, I do appreciate that a lot. So I'm going to have to go through some of the other stuff and really like really listen to it more uh, intensely. So I hope that other people can pick out some of those cool influences that you're talking about. Like the disco part of one of the songs I'm very excited to listen to now. <laughs> awesome. yeah, the goal is to, to have fun, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely, and I feel like you guys and, uh, have a good time, you know. Yeah, and we don't want to 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 take what we've done too seriously. Oh yeah, well, I, um, you take it seriously see, enough. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. But it, it, when we are on stage, it's uncompromising. Uh, I'm not sure it's the word, but yes, you, you know, it's uh, there's no half uh, way to do that. We, we go straight to the point, and uh, it's important for us. Um, but when we write a song, we we think about the, the guy in the, the back of the of the the, the, the place we, we we play, and uh, we want to make love this guy. And say, oh, okay, they use this kind of music of or, or uh, type of music, and they do this. Okay, <laughs> okay, fun. <laughs> I love that. That's like me. I'm I'm the guy. I'm the guy, kind of guy in the back that's like just enjoying it, you know. I have like headphones on. I'm just kind of enjoying the 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 music in and of itself. And I'm too old to go into the the mosh pits, you know. I'm getting too old. I'm getting too brittle, you know. Um, but no, I, I I appreciate that. I think it makes me appreciate music like the band. I think it makes me appreciate the live bands more. You know, there's something about it where, you know, you're able to see the band interact you can enjoy the music a little bit more and i think you at least from my perspective you come out with more yeah. of an appreciation for what they do and why they do it and the different types of influences that they have so keep doing it man it's 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 good to see i've been really enjoying kind of going through it and i'm, I'm excited to just listen to the other the other half and i'll have to shoot you an email on or Instagram and let you know how, what I thought of the rest of it. <laughs> cool, cool. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. There we go, Julian. The I'm next, excited to, to hear. The next question I have for you is, if you could pick a song to cover with Burning Birds, what song would you like to cover? <laughs> That's a good question. Um... I think we won't do a, a song from a band we uh, we daily take some influences. You know, I think we could make a, a cover from a whole band. I think some ZZ Top or something like that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have talked to to make a, a cover from Zita, but it was not made. So, um, <laughs> yes, you just just left Chicago, something like that, you know. Oh yeah, because be it's great. fun. Because it it's three guys who wants to have fun and uh, and laugh about what they've done. So so it's the same for us. Yeah. yeah so yeah, okay, Zita. <laughs> there we go. That's great. <laughs> I love that. Do you have any songs, particularly Julian, or just any ZZ from ZZ Top? Top yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus just left Chicago, or uh, 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 is, what's the name? Uh, Beer drinkers and Hellraisers. I think. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very fun song. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to hear those. Yes. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, and man. I think you can make some uh, vocals arrangements, you know, back backing, uh, <laughs> vocals arrangements. So I, I you got it. it, it, it you yeah. got it. I think you can do it well. So, guys, if you have any suggestions for Burning Birds, leave them in the comment section and let Julian yeah. know and the guys know what they should cover. Or you should give a thumbs up and say they should do a ZZ Top song. That's I would love to hear that. So... That's my <laughs> suggestion, but if you got another good one, let us know in the comments. But uh, the next question I have for you, Julian, as a French man, I have to ask this. Uh, what is your favorite food to eat? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Um, I really like to cook. Nice. Really? Same. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah what is my, um, my father had um, a restaurant. Uh, my oh, grandfather wow. was um, Baccarat, yes, that now that's uh, you know, um, making some uh, uh new cakes or uh, yeah, 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 like. yeah. And uh, so I really like to cook, and uh, the drummer Leo really liked to cook too. And so, uh, my favorite, favorite food, hmm, that's a good question. 
uh, vegetables. Uh, yeah, for oh, sure. The, the, uh, cook with some butter, you know? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. The French okay. way. The French way. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of butter. Just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, if, you, if you want the secret of the, the, the French food, it's a lot of butter. <laughs> Do you have yes. do, what what type what, of vegetables, I, Julian? Though what type? What are what are we thinking? Uh, it's deep in the season, you know. Oh, okay. What's what's in season in France right now? Right now, uh, we are between two seasons. Okay, okay. so it's a little bit complicated. You have some. Uh, uh, oh, I, I I think I will help me uh, myself with a dictionary, you know, just to 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 be sure to use the good. Uh, the good words. I got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabbage. Yeah, cabbage. That's oh, it. cabbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the right term for cabbage. Uh, white cabbage or uh, green cabbage. Oh, so, interesting. Um, yes, very good. You you can you you put a little bit of water uh, in a uh, in the recipe and you 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 cut slice of cabbage. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. very little bit of water and you you cover. Okay, and you 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 cook this not not for long. Just uh, when you put a knife and you slice soft. into it, yeah, yeah. You, you take that. Oh, you 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 take that back. You 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 take an, another. Um, I'll, I'll say uh, 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 a frying pan. No, it's not frying. It's, uh, it's a, <laughs> something to yeah, something to a to, pan. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pan to cook. La then you put a lot of butter. Yeah, salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. The French cuisine is butter, salt, pepper, yeah, vegetables. That's it. That's it. But the vegetables have, have to be um, have, have to have a good cook before uh, with water, very little water. Yep. Just to keep it, just to steam it, like to soften yeah, yes. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, something like that. I got you. But I also cook, so I, I you know, uh, I yeah. might not know French, but I, I know the tech, I know a little technique, so I, yeah. I'm picking it up, Julian. <laughs> cool. You have to teach me some French cuisine, like French technique cuisine, you know, soon. Then I can, then I can be a master <laughs> of French cuisine, you know. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but i love that cabbage i feel like you know i like how your answer is very seasonal you know it's like what's what's good right now and you said cabbage so that's that's amazing yeah yeah it's uh it's the end of the cabbage here now you can see some uh oh i'm not familiar with um with the words in english uh beans yes beans Oh, yeah, beans. The okay. It comes. Yeah. New onions. That beans is very good. Spinach. I think it's that. Uh, yeah, that's very good. Uh, the, um, ah, the carrot. Um, I don't know how to say that. Um, yes, that carrot. Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The so carrot with butter, always with butter. There we go. I thought for sure, Julian, you were going to say some sort of like cheese, you know, fromage, you know, that's what I was, that's what I was, that's what I was hoping for, but yeah. it's all right, you know, Yeah, you went a little easier. <laughs> I really, I really like your Italian croissant and fromage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. I'll have to, when I come to France, you'll have to take me around town to some, for, uh, some French cuisine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Awesome guys. Next question for you, Julian. Uh, if you could pick somebody to collaborate with on an up and coming burning bird song, who would you love to work with? Whoa. Um, it's a very good question. Uh, if I, yeah, yeah. If I, if I can choose from any anyone, anyone, uh, just show me, definitely, just show me. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I would love that. Well, for for several reasons, because the first one is uh, if I work with Josh, 
I'm sure that he would slap me in the face and say, hey, it's my kind of music, so <laughs> make your own. <laughs> I hope not. That doesn't no, seem... No, <laughs> it, 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 no, I don't know. It's a, it, it won't be a good collaboration <laughs> if you slap me. <laughs> Josh, what are you doing? Don't do that. That's really mean. But, yeah. No, no, but it, it, it seems to be a very... Be cool, be cool, be cool. Um, yeah, because it's a um, very interesting guy. Uh, I follow him for uh, he work with uh, not only on as a musician, uh, and gain some, I'll say, uh, some deep uh, feeling or it's more deeper it's a, it's it's deeper it's um it's um more powerful it's more um rough it's more uh, i really like his it's way the way he work he works and um yes that's the reason the the, the main reason i want to to i wanted to I want to to work with josh there we go well josh thank you for watching the show I love Queens of the Stone Age, so that's awesome. If you could work with my good friend Julian, that would be really sick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Instagram and I'm going to tag Queens of the Stone Age and also tag Burning Birds and then type in the word collab question mark. And then it's on the internet, so it's got to be real. So, you know, listen, Josh, you know, my people get in touch with your people. It'd be great. I wrote to Josh uh, on Instagram, and yes, 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 uh, yes. At the end of the first uh, recording, uh, first record uh, for "Take a Ride," the the, the first EP we we released, and uh, you, you never never answered. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, hopefully I'll we'll answer this again. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will try this time for the new album. I will send send him the new album. But uh, I will write in France, in French, because uh, he, he, he probably won't read the message, so I can, I can, I can write in French. In, in French. It's all right. Send it to me, Julian, and I'll, I'll, I'll translate it for you. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you very much. I got you. That's what I'm here <laughs> for. I just say, cook your, cook your cabbage in a lot of butter, and check out <laughs> Julian's band, Burning Birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that'd be great but it's seriously easier. go go ahead julian sorry yeah it's easier for me to write in english than to speak in english because i i, I don't have speak with someone for uh, almost a year i think you know no no one around me speaks speak in english you know and uh, i don't travel a lot uh outside france so uh yes i read so uh, a lot in English. I write in English, but but speaking English, you know, it's not the same thing. So sometimes I'm what this word fuck unnoticed. <laughs> you never come. You are. <laughs> Val told me she was like, I don't know how Julian's a little f afraid to speak English, and I was like, he's Val. I can tell you, he's he speaks English very well. So <laughs> can't confirm. <laughs> I can't speak French, so that just makes me seem really dumb. So that's my fault. So I should learn <laughs> French. I should learn French next time I have Julian on, and then I'll oh, yeah. be, and then I'll be confused because I won't be able to speak as fast as Julian in French. So I have to pick <laughs> it all up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll do that next time. It'll be in French. The interview will be in French, and I'll be struggling to. I'll have okay. my. I'll have up on my screen like the dictionary of what like, Julian saying. <laughs> so you know we'll that the next time it would be an um, EA uh, conversation. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I hey, uh, uh, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah, the uh, AI. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope not, because that would suck. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope not. But uh, the next question I have for you, Julian, if you were to compile a dream tour lineup, who would be on it? 
um, to to play in the band with us. Yeah, so like if your band was playing with four other bands, but they're like, you know, people you dream to play play music with. Oh, uh, I think uh, I want to play with uh, Amy and the Sniffers. Oh, okay, okay. For the energy, for the for the punk uh, attitude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. To have fun. Um, mm, it's a good question. Um, with Black Angels. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good because I really like to uh, introduce some uh, uh, psychedelic uh, phase in the, in the music. And um, yeah, I think it could be a real great show. Like uh, that, all yeah. them witches, all them witches, yeah, all them witches. Definitely, I really like this band. It's, a, it's an amazing band. Uh, they seem they seem to be real good guys. So uh, you, you, it's important to have fun and have uh, to be in good conditions when you're in tour. So uh, yeah, yeah. I love that. And you have, yeah. I think you have one more. Yeah, I have one more. Uh, <laughs> Um, hmm, one more. Um, well, it's hard to find. Um, the last one. Yeah. Oh, damn, quick butchers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 To, 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 to have the honor to play with uh, John Paul Jones. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Dave Grohl. That and and, Dave, and Josh Homme. That's awesome. Josh, sure. What a great, great lineup, guys. Listen, I appreciate that Julian came on here to announce this awesome world tour uh, for everyone to hear first time. So thank you, Julian, for coming on. You know, I appreciate you dropping the news here. You know, that's awesome. If you guys would like to, you know, go buy some tickets for this great great show you have to click all of the burning birds links in the description and then julian will send you a link on yeah, where you can yeah, buy yeah. tickets yeah, yeah. <laughs> a kickstarter link or something like that <laughs> <laughs> there you go awesome uh the next question i have for you julian uh what is your favorite tv show favorite movie oh wow oh. Um, hmm. Actually, I'm um, I'm reviewing and uh, view some new uh, episodes I've never seen before. It's uh, South Park. Oh, nice! Yeah, classic American yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. I really like American. Uh, um, I'll say. Uh, car- not cartoons. What what kind of? Yeah, uh, no, series? that's right. It's cartoons. Yeah, they're yeah. cartoons. Yeah. yeah. Rick and Morty. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Final Space. Uh, all those kinds of uh, of cartoons. Yes, I, I really love like it. cartoons. <laughs> all western, all, all new western uh, movies. Oh, western movies. Okay. I, I see a very good series. Uh, it's uh, that that dirty black bag. Oh, okay. I haven't heard of that one. I have to check it out. Yes, it's the new one. Uh... Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's from uh, 2020, I think. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. I see it on uh, Prime Video. Oh, okay. So it's oh, okay. So it's on a streaming. Okay, that's interesting. I'll have to see. I'll have to see how. Uh, check it out and let you know, yeah. Julian. <laughs> I think it's a little bit freezing, you know. Yeah, I think it is freezing a little bit. Do you hear me? Yeah, it's very delayed okay, though. Okay, it's not a problem. But I, I don't, I don't, don't watch the TV a lot. You know, I prefer to 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 read or to 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 play video games sometimes. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. That's good. There we go. Julie, Julie, I'll wait till it kind of catches up a little bit. Are, are you? Am I still delayed to you a little bit? 
I'm delayed? Yeah, I'm asking if it is delayed. Ah, uh, I tried to move my... Uh, a little bit, uh, To move my computer, maybe it, uh, it would help. Uh, I think that works. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. I think we're better now. Uh, awesome. Next. Okay. Okay. okay, cool. All right. Next question, Julian, is uh, one question I like asking um, to close out my interviews. Um, yeah. Why is, you know, why is music important to you? You know, why do you choose to, to write music, you know, and make make this project burning birds like why is it important to you yes uh i i think i understand that um um uh, not for long because uh i've served i have many um, periods of doubt to make mm -hmm. music to write music to 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 take all this energy all this time to 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 do that and uh I think I understand that it's important for me to. Uh, it's a it's a ca cathartic thing, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. When we play live, uh, I, I'm not making music for make record. I make music for for for, for live. I, I really like to 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 be on stage to 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 communicate with people mm -hmm. um, from to to the to the to the gig and um, to help people to uh, to have some emotion strong emotions in a very uh safety uh, safety um situation uh, safe or safety situation uh they can uh they can go through uh yeah strong emotions uh and they can take uh, energy and they can uh, put something bad in the the common uh moment uh and, yeah. and we can clean that with the music you know with the energy with the music all this is spinning around and uh yeah i really see something like that I really feel something like that yeah no i i love that because i think it's uh, music is this community that you know you're a part of and it's like you're it, there's only a handful of people that are you know really in it right and so it's it's cool to know that you know you're creating music because you want to enjoy it live and you want that experience to be seen by other people live and be in that moment so that's a great thing um and i i think it is uh something i hope that you get a lot of enjoyment out of and i hope that the people that listen to your music they also get that sort of enjoyment as well too so Best of luck, Julian. I hope to be able to see Burning Birds at some point. Maybe I'll have to travel to France to go see you guys. But hey, I'll do it. You know, any excuse for a vacation, right? Uh, but uh, <laughs> the, too bad. the it's not too bad. The flight's not terrible. It's just the the prices are expensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but Julian, the last thing, tell the people where they can find Burning Birds at. You have a new album out called Where We Belong, which you can tell people where they can go buy that or stream it. And then anything else you would like to talk about with your band? Um, if, if I want to, um, uh, uh, can you uh, um, re uh, refund the question, please? Oh, so just tell the people where they can find you at on social media. Like where can oh, you yeah, find yeah. Burning Birds? Instagram, Facebook, uh, SoundCloud, uh uh, ben Camp, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy it in, on Ben Camp. It's cool. It's okay. And uh, for people who are in uh, Europe, can send it by uh, by the mail. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a, it's a nice uh, artwork. You know, the 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 the, the object the, 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 is is really beautiful. We we make it with a we made it with a, a friend, and uh, I wanted to be. Um, uh, I'll say um, clear. You know, I, I don't know, I, but I can show the, the if you want now the the the, the yeah. Go the, ahead. The, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did just here. Sober, sober. I think it's the word. No. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The artwork was great. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's great.
yeah very sober not 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 a lot of things you know it's uh, uh the, the place is for the music <laughs> It's very direct, you know, it's, it's black and white. I think that's what I love. It. It's that's, you know, you don't get those moments where you get to see, I, I love buying music, like physical, like I buy a lot of vinyls. Yeah. That's mostly what I buy. So like, for me, I love seeing a physical like CD or, or an album or something. So that to me, I'm glad that's not dead. So I'm I'm glad you're continuing the tradition of physical <laughs> physical medium, um, yeah. but looks great. Um, but guys, you can go check out Burning Birds. Yes, I did say Burning Birds. It's in the title of the video. It's, I'm not misspeaking. That is actually their band name. So please go check them out. Uh, they have their new album, Where We Belong. I will also leave links below. Go, Please, please go pick it up. Uh, it's great stuff. If you're very much into like rock music as a whole, perfect album to listen to. So go, please go give Julian's band, Burning Birds, some love. Again, want to give a shout out to val uh, she is the best i'm gonna keep saying it i love her she's awesome so please go yeah. show her some love as well too in the comments but guys if you like this video make sure to like comment subscribe and uh huge thanks to julian of burning birds for coming on today thank you brandon for having me it was a good time thank you very much